got to call the old man and see if he's cool with the idea of me bringing the camera along and hopefully he'll be cool with it. Got him in speed dial. VoIP. Free phone calls. Voice over internet protocol. Gotta like that. Charter communications. If you'd like to go ahead and put an ad on my website charter for this, you can. Three rings. He should be on the road. What are you doing, old man? Okay. Uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> Good. I have a question for you, and I'm not going to keep you. I'd like to bring my camera along and kind of document this crap as we go along, if you're cool with me turning the camera on you and, and getting some of the. Oh, you're cool with that, right? All right. Okay, well then, consider it done. It is currently right now uh, 10 minutes after 10. So I'll meet you there. About 11 o'clock. Okay, I spoke to Iman. She's totally kosher with it, so it shouldn't be a problem. So we both have Liberty Chits, right? We both have a Liberty Chit. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in about 50 minutes. Later, Dad. Bye. That's cool. He's cleared. Cleared it with his old lady. Now, let me explain something. It's not that either one of us are pussy whipped. It's just that we got we can do anything we want as long as we clear it with the old lady. As long as she's cool with it, we're free to do anything we want. Now, anyways, his wife is working, my wife is working. We want to make sure we're there. All right, keep you posted, okay? Yeah. In Montgomery, Alabama, with the Obama campaign, Congressman Arthur Davis. And here in Washington, Edwards campaign hey. manager, the former House Democratic Whip. I got, David I got one of those questions on there, so I'm curious to see how that kind of plays itself you out, you know? Start with you and ask you a but anyhow, question. as it stands right now, I guess I got a one and the camera's kind of cocked. But I got a one in a 2,000 chance. Let me see if I can straighten that guy out. Watch this power. I know the power. Both, uh, in the White House, so, uh, Senator Clinton, and Senator Obama, and hopefully my uh, question gets answered. But in the meantime, let me go I shut Mr. Vilsack down here. Your Obama and the two but in the meantime, I got my safety jacket on in case I layer down. And here's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I know, I know. A lot of discussion about what I'm doing, whether or not this is safe or not. iPod in one ear. iPod in the other ear. At least the headphone. Going to connect it to it. Probably wondering what it is that I'm going to do with this. Going to party. Going to jam on some music. No, that's not true. Not going to jam. Going to listen to an audiobook. Going to listen for the fifth time, maybe possibly the sixth time, the Clue Train Manifesto. Technology guy. Love the Clue Train Manifesto. Anyway, so we're going to turn that baby on. Apple. You'll notice that I have the black iPod video. Like to get the phone. Like to get the phone. Corporate America keeping me out. Can't get the AT&T here in Menominee. So, at any rate, I'm going to party. Okay, the next time we'll pick each other up will be when I'm in there meeting Dad. Dad should be on the road. I should be there. About a half hour, I should be in Eau Claire. Got plenty of gas, plenty of fuel to make it to Eau Claire. Got to fuel up at British Petroleum, BP. Got the 5% credit card on that one. See you there. Yeah, I just saw the old man pull in. There he is. Driving around. Yeah, I think he sees me. No, no freaking clue where I am. Yeah, Dad's got hubcaps for that car, but it's in the back. Let's see if I can call him. Well, are you gonna drive around the whole entire parking lot, or are you gonna look for me? You drove. You drove a dink. You drove by me once already. I buy tire and lube. I saw you drive by. You know.
Yeah. Well, you know where, where are you now? Oh, I see. Okay, well, I'm down here by tire and lube. Just, I mean, by the row number nine. Okay, I get the bike. I'll get the bike all covered up and all that happy goodness. Later, brother. Bye. All right, pops. After much ado of trying to find me, <laughs> we have in fact been successful with the flowers. And so there we go, and we're gonna leave the the iron tiger. Whoa! Right there. Yeah. Right, let's go find a spot. Okay. We can hit Kadat, or we can hit. I need to go get some gas, so we're going right over there. To the BP? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We're going to the QT. Uh, the quick, quick trip. Uh, yeah, okay. Take a look at Grandpa. What do you think? Take a look at those two over there, Dad. What do you think about that? I think they're a little bit faded. Oh, yeah. But we'll just put these right in there. Well, you, we here. Hang on to that here. Because then, because somebody must have put those there. What do we put them? What do you want to do? You want to put what? Replace yeah, those, or just put them right on top of those? No, we'll just stick them right in between like that. Alrighty. Because I bet you Roger and Tootie, and somebody did that. Alrighty. There you are, you old son of a bitch. John Stearns. Company E, the New York, 93rd New York Infantry. Sure enough. John Stern. Yeah. Um. Who do we got here? This is relatives of ours, too. And here is Erastus. Wow. Is that, who is that, our great-grandfather? Erastus? Okay, Lorenzo? Yes. His name, his middle name is Erastus. Right. Lorenzo Erastus Green is the, is the son of this guy. Wow. And it was Erastus, this guy right down there, that dropped the E on our name. Isn't that something? Yeah, he. This is the first generation of greens that we belong to, that don't have the E on our name. And this is Alpha, Alpha Ann, if I'm not mistaken. Is that what that says there? Yep, Alpha Ann Green. 1818 to 1911. Yep. And that's Erastus. So that is. Okay, your grandfather. Herb, his dad's dad. Great great grandfather. Yeah. And your great great great. Great great great, yep. That's right. Yeah, 1884. That's... Is that when he died? That's what it says. Yeah, that would be him. And this over here, right there, that's his son. So now what is it? It was it was Levi, Marvin, John Erastus, and then John again, there's another John. And then there were then Lorenzo was a younger guy. There were five brothers. Let's see who's over here. And then here's Elmer, which is the son of Lorenzo, Erastus. And of course, um, and then of course Lorenzo Erastus, you know Lorenzo. Yes. And then you know we saw Rennie today. Right, that's another yeah. Lorenzo E. Yeah, Lorenzo Erastus. So he's was named after him, so this is it. These guys came, these people that you see here, um, Erastus and Zelfa Ann moved here from Hallsport, New York. And that area after Levi their son had died uh, in the prison camp they got homestead rights around here <clears throat> so this is where they settled and this fellow right here John Stearns ran a livery stable 
in Altoona. And from all accounts, he was a pain in the ass. But he was wounded in the Battle of the Wilderness in the hand. And he, uh, he would have uh, gone to the, he was in the Washington barracks there. Did he have family? Yeah, he, he had, had family. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. they would be over here. Let's go find them. 